evening everybody hopefully you can hear me all right if you could just let me know evening everybody <clears throat> first thing we're going to do this evening um, is I've created some new templates for the bangers a little bit easier to uh, understand and to get into game so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and grab them now if you go on to my tads gaming website it's tads.me that's uh, sorry tads.me.uk we click skin painting We just get rid of that off screen. Um, we click skin painting at the top, uh, and then we've got here what you will need to paint a custom banger skin for breakfast. What we need is we need the skin templates, and if you click here, it takes you to a few downloads that I've got. Now, the crown has been done. In the new format, 64 caddy, um, 4 LR, Volvo 240, LTD, and the Mark 1 Coupe. Um, and it'd be the Mark 1 Coupe that we're going to do tonight. Uh, so if we just click, click the image, if you want, you can go along with me if you like, if you want to. Oh, Make sure if I got that wrong in the admin bit, let me just quickly change that while we're on stream. Otherwise I will forget. Give me one minute. I better check the other ones as well while we're there. Oh, I didn't update that one. So now that I've updated that, let's refresh this page. Click that, should take us now to the Mark 1 Granny Coop. Hey. So, shows you 63 meg. They are quite big files that I've made. Evening Sam, evening Tom. Um, if you hit the download button, it's not so bad for me because it's not like I've got bad internet. So within a minute that it's going to be downloaded I know it's a big file but when you see what's inside you quite understand why there's a quite a big file there what I do for people is just give me one minute I will actually give you a link to the person with making skins for breakfast really what this is about is so you can go and have a go yourself um, so you're not quite so scared to do it so this is the link for the Facebook page for uh, DD designs You can ask on there if you're actually wanting someone to paint you a skin. Um, but right, that's downloaded, so I'm just going to move this over out of the way. It's just here, so if I extract files on this. Now what we've got is we've got a Mark 1 Granny. So this is the one inside the folder. So we've got the one that it extracts, unless you use extract here, which is not much uh, much cop so open in there this is your folder that you're looking for now I'm sure Sam would be absolutely ecstatic if you start sending him skins like this because it's gonna be easier for him to add them so you, you would send him the mark one grand C that's what it's called in game try to get used to using the proper structure it saves all of us a lot of hassle so inside there we've got everything set up ready you part your paint so we've got our car file there 
And inside here, look, we've got the template. Now we've got a paint layer, a body layer, and a background layer. Very easy to use these ones. Um, we've also got in this folder that I've, uh, let's get rid of some of these. I don't want that one, I don't want that one, I don't want that one. I've also made a damage layer. It's out of uh, one of the cards that had a damage layer on, plus I've added bits of my own. If you want to use any, they're all in their own layers. So if you select one, you can move it about. You can select which one you want to copy. If you want to put damage on a damage layer, it's there for you if you want to. Um, so let's let's paint this first so we use our paint layer and we've got it on overlay now if we had it on normal it look a bit ugh. so we use overlay not darken we use overlay and then when we're painting uh, so I'm gonna make roughly ish a snapper skin I think it's about that colour. Let's add that to swatches. Because I will always use it. Snapper red. Done. Right. Okay. So we've got snapper red. And what we're going to do is we're just going to paint. I'm not being very uh, careful with this one tonight. Obviously you want to take your time doing them. See what you could do, which really, which would have been a lot easier. I just get rid of all these. Look. Right, so we've got that. So what we could do is go up, right click, blending options, which gives you this dialog. Color overlay, red. Blend mode, well, uh, overlay. No, I don't want that one. Have that one as normal. Hit OK. Now if we rasterize layer style and then we turn that into overlay we've got an instant red car. Excellent. So now I know I need black. But first what we're going to do we're just going to grab that up there to about there Brush tool. Let's get it black. Just remember, it's not the only way you can paint skins. It's just a quick way that I do them. You obviously want to take a little bit more time with your skin, but this one won't be going in into game itself, so it don't really matter. Right, we haven't even got a snap of yellow, have we? Swatches. Snap of yellow. So, now I know the roof's yellow. It's normal there, that. there we go. Now if we use Alt, and scroll in. Evening bounded. Uh, Curtis, if I use the flood tool, um, it would flood everything. And if you have a look on my paint layer, um, I've removed all the all the little bits that you can also paint. Uh, I've left them all. See inside bonnet belts, roll cage, roof pillars. There, none of them gets affected by this paint layer if you do it the correct way. That's why I've done it this way and not just doing a flood fill. Uh, so let's uh, do this uh, yellow. Right, we're only going down to about there. 
One second. Sorry about that. It's a bit early really to be streaming, but never mind. So, let's just do the other side quickly. Right, just a very, very quick uh, run down on that. So what we got? Uh, we need the roof. Ah, there it is. Sam, you made me look for the roof. Really need to put instructions on these, don't I? Being as I don't have the font that Curtis used when he first made the snappers, I'm going to cheat and just uh, go and copy and paste them. So let's open. Uh, Grab open a file from Curtis. Got the American banger snapper. And then duplicate. Onto that, okay. Get rid of that. I'm using um, Control T to get the uh, little box so we can manipulate it and then shift and drag so we keep it in proportion yeah I know it's not quite right but never mind haha <laughs> Yeah, it definitely is lazy on your part, Sam. I'll have to uh, ask Josh, Josh for the font then. But anyway, as we're going on with this. Uh, so, as you can see, the mainly the, the paint is done. You could then go through your bonnet belt. Hang on. So, you've got the seat is white. Use Alt and scroll to scroll in and out. So, seat is white. So, let's uh, do this. I'm going to go down onto the main layer. No, I don't want that. I'm going to go down onto the main layer because my paint its not doing it. Hello, Emily Mark's friend. So, let's just grab... ugly brown and let's just fill that right so the inside is green that'd be here so Sam insides um, on this template 
do I need to colour both that green and this up here? What I'm going to do just for now is I'm going to colour it red. I'll wait for Sam to answer me. Because if I need to colour that, I can actually put it on the paint. Yeah, both. Right. Excellent. So the pa what we can do then is we can use... Bonnet bolts are red. So, bonnet bolts are red. I think we're going to go black on them. Not on the paint, we're not. On the layer. Black on them. Roll cage is orange. We definitely don't want the roll cage orange. So, we're going to go red. No, we can't go red on the roll cage. We're putting the inside. So, roll cage will be yellow on this one. That was a bit of a silly thing to do, but I've added it rather than uh, removed it. Yellow. <laughs> right, got you, Sam. Thank you. So, the small box in inner roof is the inner roof, and the big box is the rear seats. So, and the roof pillars, obviously we need them yellow. So we'll just do that, grab our yellow, grab our brush tool. Right, so what we got down here, we've got some more suspension legs, drive shafts and diff. All right, Jack. So, suspension legs. I think they can just go black. Um, what else have we got? Let me grab that paint layer. Silly me, didn't move at all. Right, so, purple is a diff. Back to our main layer. That's definitely going black with diff. And drive shafts. They've also got to go black, so I may as well just grab that and go like that. Excellent. Hello, Bang Eraser. Right, so there's our snapper skin so if we save as so it's a mark one grand c but what we need to do is we need to name it for ourselves so if it was myself i might do tad gaming or tad 421 um but this is a snapper one so i'm gonna go snapper underscore c5 i'm gonna save that as a tga now i bet some of you are screaming now because I've just saved it. What you really should do is flatten image. It will lower the size of your. Um, no, I haven't. Sam, you're right. Um, what you should do is flatten your image. It will save on size when sending it in. And then save as TGA. Snap a C5. Save. Yes. Now, if you did want to put a little bit of damage on there, I'm just going to uh, undo the flatten. Right. Let's just put, say, one of these on there, which is layer 22. Duplicate layer. Onto my snapper. Use Control T. 
throw it on. Obviously, I wouldn't use that there, but it's just showing you you can do it. But you probably would use something like this. If you put it to overlay once it's on, you can just duplicate it, it stays in, stays just there, which wouldn't look too bad if that's what you wanted to do. When you bring a paint layer back up there's your damaged skin, so then you would flatten this one, file, save as, so we'll go snapper underscore damaged underscore c5, save, done. So that's that done. Now what I normally do rather than um, uh, doing it while it's all here for the NS and everything, what I've actually done is in the art folder I'll give you an N and an S which I'll just move the folder over a minute. It's just the default one that Sam had done. To be honest it's good enough to use for your damaged skins anyway uh, sorry your uh, normal map and spec maps uh, that was the normal let's bring that spec map which is all it is some of them have turned out a lot better but this is just how it was um, which was in game uh, right so what we're going to do now if you did want to turn this into a normal map Let's just remove that now. We don't want that on there. We'll open our Snapper C5. And I've got the tools for NVIDIA on here. We could quite simply filter, 3D, create normal. And as you can see, it creates a quite a nice normal map anyway with all your signs on, uh, which I'm not going to on this one. But what we are going to do is we're going to start renaming these. So we've got your snapper C5. So we need snapper underscore N. Snapper underscore S. So we've got our damage. Uh, what we will do while we're here is we'll just create a damage NNS quickly. Just turn the detail down a bit because to be honest we don't really need it. File, save as, so we go damage, N, save, for the damage, S, I'm going to just copy that one, paste it, and just use that one. So, six files, one. Two, three, four, five, six. We got all the six files ready. So we're going to go to uh, the tools. Now I've got a shortcut on my desktop because I use it all the time. Show it to my common folder. So bugbear entertainment tools. Now 
Being this Sam's been that nice to allow us um, the all-in-one um, converter and put that as skin I'm going to use that but I will show you with one just what your main what the game gives you itself so this is in the bugbear tools folder and we've got the snapper s so we've dragged that over onto build asset and it creates our bmap file that we all need but I'm just going to drag that on there because I'm lazy this is where it takes a little while because we're converting six files next thing what we're going to do is um, we're going to edit the vehicle file so it knows what we're looking at people just putting some uh, bits on people messaging me it is Joe isn't it yeah it's definitely Andy so we're gonna grab all these gonna cut them out of there paste now reason being is why I like this converter so much because I can now grab all my files and put them into there I can grab that folder I can throw it on desktop for a minute and I've got six files in here that we need for the game ready to go because I created that new folder to convert them simple ways and you just find good ways so we go back pay, uh, back a explorer into part paint and i've put this in quite a few skins now where everything's set up so you double click it sorry you won't when you get it if you've not opened bag edit before you'll have to right click it open with and when it loads with the old windows 10 obviously i've got bag edit here but you would go more map uh, more apps and then you probably wouldn't have it on here you go look for another app bugbear entertainment bag edit bag edit community i'm going to cancel it because i've already got it and then you can double click it so texture our texture is snappers underscore c5 if i if i remember right snapper underscore c5 see that wouldn't have worked in game snapper underscore c5 that's my texture now i'm doing a mark one coupe now if you notice the data vehicle mark one grand c is already there because i've done everything for you ready to go what we need also now need to do is put our name on our skin snappers everything else has been set up for you even the route has been done everything's ready to go control s to save it i can close uh, actually i won't close that i will use that because what we do is we grab that and we've got this mark one granny i'm going to move the window over a minute out of the way first what i'm going to do is i'm going to launch game very quickly turn my mods off mods ah I already have even better so get the mark one coupe which I believe is that one isn't it look at that one I actually think it's that one isn't it anyway paint definitely no snapper in there 
just to make sure there's definitely no snappers in there. So we're closed game. We don't want PSDs. Don't want that either. Right, explore that. Common. Good bear. Mods. UK short oval. Data. Vehicle. Now. Here's the clever bit. Because all the folder structures set up, when I drop this into an empty space, it will automatically. Oh, look, I didn't rename that. See, I forgot some of that wouldn't have worked in game. Snapper, you must remember to rename that. No, no I want part, paint, that one there. Snapper. So, it's in there. Ah, all our snappers are in there. Let's go and have a look, see if it's there. I'll have to turn me uh, workshop mod off and put me local mod on. Was it that one? Wasn't that one? Must have been that one. Snappers. We've got a car in game. Now we're going to move this just in case we've got some tracks in the way. No, Curtis, mate, not really. Photo mode. We've got a car in game that we've just painted very badly. It wasn't a Photoshop tutorial. It was how to use the templates, how easy it is to keep them all up and running properly. And the way that I've started creating these templates um, is a lot easier for you lot to send them in. And it saves me or Sam a lot of work trying to work out which goes where and start converting them. Uh, now, photo mode. As you can see, nothing's changed. Skin hasn't changed. We got our damage mapping right and our main skin right. So that's that. How to make a skin. Put it in game. What I would do if you go to tads.me.uk which takes you here skin paint in at the top let me get rid of that game skin paint in at the top what you need and click here so the crown the caddy 4LR Volvo Ford LT and the Mark 1 Coupe are all set up exactly the same way as I've just told you Please subscribe to the video and to my channel for more. We're going to go 3D Max next week. We're going to start designing some buildings for a new track. Um, and just as an extra, GTO sat there on the website, ready to paint. Now, there is something in the GTO where you need to hide. I will just grab it up and show you what I mean before you disappear. Move that over there. Uh, PSD. 
do right so this is the car gto you see this here where it says hide this before save make sure you do because the mapping has changed very slightly it's just there so if you're painting you want to paint down the seam of the door if i didn't have that in there or the paint you don't know where the doors start and end um, so that's the only reason I put it in there when you've done it hide that out of the way or delete it and then save as TGA before you send them in because otherwise it'll look quite bad and while you're there just very quickly I'm going to put this on I told everyone earlier that I'm doing something like small field I'm just going to quickly show you what it was That one. I'm going to move the game over just so you don't see my other tracks. It is a bit bad at the minute. I've only just started doing the top um, banks. As you can see, it's just starting there. It's a nice bunt. You get to see what I'm trying to do. All these banks need lifting. You can see I've started lifting them here. If you followed someone in, I'm sure they would hit the wall like that, let's see. Now, I'm not sure if Smallfield's actually got that ditch, but I took all the data from Google Earth, which should give me all the height maps and everything. Now, it's saying that this is what the track's like. Um, after putting the coordinates in, it's given me this height map and it, it does have I, I've never been there so you can see they're not high enough there it looks like a little fun track oh, there you go Thanks for watching, and we'll see you uh, online very shortly.